Okay, good day, viewers all over the world, wherever you are watching us from. This is business in Africa. Uh, today we are going to talk about electrification in Kogi East. And uh, with me on the program today is an electrical engineer, uh, not just an electrical engineer, a grassroots engineer that have worked virtually in all part of uh, Kogi East. He is the managing director, Aisha Electrica, uh, a company that have uh, handled electrification projects in Kogi East. But because I want to be specific, a lot of people mentioning their name. Sir, so can you tell our viewers your name? My name is uh, Abdullah Hamid Muhammad, Managing Director, Aisha Electrical Contractor, Nigeria Limited. And our office is located in adjacent Igala Unity Square, number five, Angoku. I am by the Kina local government area. All right. Uh, I wouldn't want to stress because uh, if you talk about electricity, it's among the basic needs of a human being. Uh, we talk about electricity, water, road, housing. Electricity is a major factor. So it is a very large topic that we cannot go to talk about everything. But I want specifically to talk about the epileptic power supply in Kogi East. Uh, why is it that? In the entire Kogi East, we cannot have steady power supply of at least 10 hours. If, if, if we cannot have 24 hours, at least 10 hours uninterrupted power supply in Kogi East. Why? Yes. Our major problem in Kogi East are uh, as follow. We don't have a good network existence within the Kogi East. Like that of either axis, a uh, very dirty network. Then if you observe from here to Angpa, the same thing. From here to Dikina, the same thing. And then we, the other time, we appeal to our own state government to be able to at least the bridge of Itobi so that they could use a tower. Then we can have like two or three different circuits controlling that of Ayangba and the second one should be able to control that of either so that if i am by is feeding from a different feeder if i am by has a fault you easily trace it but now that i am by either and by our own feeder then the, this thing is overloaded oh, sorry so I, I i am not an engineer but uh, I, I remember there was a time I, I went into personal uh, investigative journalism about electricity and I was told that there's a cable called Amod cable. Yeah. They say that is the cable that link the bridge. So it means it's only one Amod cable that supplies the lights to Ida, Angba, Dikina, and Aniba. Yes. One Amod cable. One Amod cable. Which that time they say they installed the 500. Uh, uh, I'm not capable by three coil. Then, but now the population is growing day in, day out, and people will love to make use of electricity because people doing business, like as I'm speaking with you now, there is no light in Ayanga now due to that cable problem. Within two, three hours, it will trip. Either this has to go on their own network to see what is the problem on the network the other side. I, Bikina has to go, Ayangba has to go. But if we have different circuits and the destiny, if Ayangba is feeding on a different feeder, uh, on a feeder, we will have a better light and steady light. Okay, the, oh, okay. Uh, let me let me ask this layman question. I'm not an engineer, you know. Yes. Uh, but from a common sense perspective, can't we have uh, this tower that will cross the water like we have for Brutala Bridge? Uh, you know, there's light from uh, Ajakuta that uh, from Gerebu to, to Abuja. Abuja yeah. So on the bridge at uh, Jamata, it is a uh, tower. Uh, they are crossing nice that... 30 to Abuja. Good. Mm -hmm. So can't we have the same tower on uh, mm -hmm. Itobe Bridge? Yeah, we we do, but it depends on our government. Can the, if the government of Kogi will be able to afford that, then we we'll enjoy electricity in Kogi East entirely. Okay, meaning if there are two hours on the bridge, you can have 24 hour power supply yes, in Kogi East. In Kogi East. Because they can even get us almost three, four feeders in Kogi East. 
and back can feed from a different feeder and back can feed from a different feeder either can feed from a different feeder and then if the government could not even do that there are ways and alternatives that we could even get supply, steady supply in Kogi East. Okay. Then if you get to Angpa, we, you know, Trupo, we have a Angpa feeder. If Ajakuta Angpa cannot feed Angpa, then if Otrupo, from Otrupo to Angpa is good, if the network is okay, if we are going there, let the EADC go there, clear their money with the assistance of government, then Otrupo can be feeding Angpa. And if Angpa don't have, the same Otrupo can feed back feed Ayamba. Okay. Then likewise to Osuka, we have a feeder which we call the Nosuka feeder, Ida feeder. Mm. So which can equally feed from Osuka. Ida can feed from Osuka to Ida. Mm. Then if the line from Ida to Osuka is okay, but I, as at the other time that we were sent to that place to survey, the whole place were vandalized. And the person that wanted doing the job was to do it on his own personal capacity, which we don't have way. Ah, my brother, if I understand clearly, it means uh, we can have life from three sources. Yes. Otupo will be feeding Angba, Uzuka will be feeding Ida, Ajoguta will be feeding Angba. Okay, then in case Ajoguta have any problem, Angpa can still feed us yes, here. Feed then if Otupo have problem, Angba can feed Angpa. Yes. Then if Ida have problem, Angba can feed Ida. Yes. And Ida can feed Angba. Yes. So it means we can have life from the three sources yes. to Kogi is at the same time. Yes. Sir. And they will not clash. No. Wow. Once Ida is feeding to uh, once uh, Usuka is feeding Ida, and Ida want to feed um, Baba is for us to open the auto reclosure connecting to Ajakuta, then we'll start having light here. So we can have the cookies can have light from the three sources yes, simultaneously. Yes, simultaneously. Okay, fine. Is it uh you may not be exact because the price of things are changing. Yeah. Uh is it too expensive to run light uh, the tower from uh, Ajakuta across the to be it's very easy. I mean, like now, the only place we needed the tower is just on the bridge, okay, crossing the water. Okay. Which, like, how many towers will cross three, the bridge? Three, three is okay, just three, three, one the other side, one at the middle of the river, and one across. across. Like, how much by estimation? You may not be exact, like. If you are to estimate, like how much would it cost to run then, the tower? During the time of Hebrew, the estimation we did and the, in collaboration with the Chinese that came extending the 330 from uh, Ajakuta to Abuja, the bill they gave us that time and we were trying to harmonize the nine local government in Kogi East was about 400 million then. 400 million? Then. Less than a billion? Yes, then 400 million. Then, At that time, yes, then then the dollar was three to four hundred naira. That time, that time, but as at now, then if the government has the ability to do now, we have to go back on the resurveying of the whole thing there and then get in touch with those people to tell us how we it will cost. Okay, if I'm, I'm by, I'm just for instance. You know, uh, Kogi East comprises of uh, the Angpa Aziz, Ida Aziz, and Bikina Aziz. And Basa. And Bikina Basa Aziz. Mm -hmm. Then you have a House of Representatives member that represents Bikina Basa, another one that represents Angpa Olama Bro Mala, mm -hmm. another one that represents Ida Ibaji Ofu and Igalamela. Mm -hmm. So the three House of Reps together with the Senator that represents the entire Kogi East. Mm -hmm. Instead of building this small, small boho here and there, and there are all those petty uh, projects here and there. Don't you think if they put their heads together, the three reps with the senator, put their heads together, they cannot raise up to one billion? Will you call them and they will pick? Who will call them and they will pick? I, the other time I met senator, I explained so many things about electricity to him. He didn't respond up till now. One of the aides came to me and I tried to tell them, if you want to make, it could be East greater about electricity. These are ways you go on. Mm. And believe me, sir, if we have constant electricity, it could be East. 
the revenue that the state government and the local governments will generate will even be more than that of uh, Abuja or whichever thing that they are talking about. Exactly. And all those small, small business, uh, those that are doing welder, well, those that are doing pure water, yeah, even yeah. people cooking, in fact, all sector, economy will improve. Mm -hmm. That means, in, in, in fact, apart from even the, the, the lawmakers, the non local government chairman can put resources together, yeah. the House of Representatives, the Assembly, Coming then the state that. government in counterpart. If they truly they want to light Kogi East. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Now that it's like this, uh, if we are to talk about getting light from this, if we have the tower, it can take care of the entire problem. Yeah. But alternatively, in case the tower is not there, we can have light from the three sources. As an engineer, between the tower, and correcting the three lines because like you rightly say some of those uh, uh, mat uh, materials will have been vandalized mm -hmm. between uh, like between musuka and, and ida between and, uh, and, and Pa will have been vandalized mm -hmm. so considering all those getting light from those resources into kogi is and uh, getting to our which do you think will be mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean a better alternative if is to be carried out by the local government chairman and they were able to come together and they should give, they can give us listening ear. The easiest way to get 33 first is the three sources. Let's correct that of Ankpa to Trupo. Mm -hmm. And let's, if the EADC is going there, who we'll settle the bill with those people having that feeder, the just having that feeder, then that of Monsuka go there again, negotiate with them, go with the officials of the EADC, negotiate with them that want to correct this line and this thing is going to be sponsored by our local government, then it will be easier for the local government. This other two sources will be easier. But that of the tower should be handled by the state. Because me, I could not see where the local government could raise such funds this time around, that things are difficult. Because they need paying staff and staff doing all the little, little things around them. All right, uh, thank you very much uh, for this uh, analysis and uh, explanation. Then, uh, Aiba Town as a case study mm -hmm. because Aiba is the commercial center, the most I mean, uh, lucrative and the busiest commercial center in the entire uh, Igala land. Uh, light in Aiba, you know, when electricity first came to Aiba, uh, it was designed for D3, mm -hmm. it was D3. Because Aimba then was a small community. Mm -hmm. Now Aimba has expanded beyond the original design. What do you think is the major challenge of light in Aimba? Yeah, the major challenges of light to Aimba is those uh, neighboring uh, the villages. Dikina, the time he has to come to Dikina, to Aimba, they said Dikina, Anida, the time we have to have, they will connect Ampa, and which the line from Mayamba to Ampa is not well sanitized. The EADC need the help, assistance from the local government and the state government so that they could standardize their line that will convey energy from here to Ampa. Because a lot of vegetation crossing the line, and it will triple the line, and that is giving Ayamba unstable uh, electricity. Then the another thing is that's of the tower we are discussing is one of the major contributors but at the time we could stabilize those things and there will be steady light in ayamba i told the eadc manager the other time that ayamba is even a place that you people can generate income than any other place mm. count the numbers of banks here commercial banks here the hotels here so they prefer paying bills than even going to buy, buy diesel. diesel exactly. Because the diesel consumption of, of two weeks will be able to pay for a NEPA bill of, of one, one month. month. And which is convenient for consumers here. So, and that issue then answered is the, when the government come to their aid and how will government come to their aid. By the government try to source for these three locations then to be getting a steady energy from this uh, three source okay uh thank you very much uh, for awesome. your time and uh, we appreciate you uh we're going to escalate this complaint to the state government and uh, those in authority okay. at the appropriate time we'll see come back to you then see how we can do a survey okay. of uh, this area let us be certain of if truly Nsuka is vandalized, what is the le level of vandalism if Ampa or Tukbo is fine we'll do this finding then 
try to do a comprehensive report and see uh, how we can cry to the government. You see, sometimes you don't blame government for not doing it. Yeah. They have a lot of things on their hand until you tell them, yeah. you, until you cry to them. So if we do a comprehensive uh, uh, report on this uh, accurate finding, even our traditional rulers, oh, yeah, yeah. we can bring uh, their heads together, the Jangpa, the Dikina, this, all the EJ together, mm -hmm. uh, then we cry to the government that this is the document we have. This is what we need to have steady power supply in our place. Exactly. There's nothing wrong if the, the, the traditional rulers uh, in the Taigala land come together and meet this royal majesty at Taigala. Your majesty, this is our cry. Take this to the government. They say all the traditional rulers and the representatives bring your consensus development uh, from Abuja, bring it. Mm -hmm. Government, bring your own. Give us light in Kogi. Mm -hmm. It will help us. It will help. Thank you very much. Uh, you, once again, uh, viewer, uh, with me here is uh, Engineer Amidu, the MD Aisha Electrical Contractors Nigeria Limited, and uh, we have discussed electricity in uh, Kogi East. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. We hope to see you again thank another you very time. Much more viewers, thank you for watching us. See you again on another edition of uh, business in Africa. Today, our discussion was purely on electrification of Kogi East. Thank you. US TV, Unity Star Television, always ahead.